All right, guys, welcome back to another com Three Comic Money, and uh, we're here at CBSI. Uh, as always, you're checking out our stuff and you're reading reading what we do. Today's one of those fun episodes where it's, you got four writers from CBSI. You can probably see our uh, IG uh, tags right up here, but you got Mike Morello, who does three or four different things at this point, cover fire, cover tunes, or his two big ones that he does, and he, of course, does the interviews. You got uh, P Peter over here, who does all the dollar bin diving and he did the wizard wizard a little bit, and uh, he helps out with several different shows as well. Uh, you got Andy down here in the corner who does uh, Indie Spotlight series, um, which is great if you haven't taught it. And then, of course, you got myself who I do Fisherman's Tales and Rumor Has It. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, rules as always, we're going to do three cards. Uh, Andy gets a pick since he's our guest. And then we're going to get rolling in our category here for three comic money on uh, CBSI, comicbookinvest.com. All right, I got we got one, two, and three. Got to go with the middle. All right. Uh, got I'm going to do three. So, Mike, that leaves you with one. Yep. Oh, Mike gets to go first. Yeah. First Finally. Ooh, nice cool. cover, too. <laughs> Fire. Nice. Cool cover. I almost chose that one. Not, nah, though. <laughs> I tried to pick something safe. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's a great cover, though. Man, that means they're going to anchor if you're going first. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Y'all have been books. In <laughs> There's so many good I'm starting out with I'm, I'm, so many good ones, too. There are. Yeah, there are so many. We could do that. We could honestly do this topic maybe every week for the next two months and still not do it again. All right. We're on a cover. So there's a lot of fire cover to start. Um, this is a Sadowski cover. It is uh, an unbelievable Zatanna cover. I think it's her mm -hmm. best cover. Um, with Zatanna news hitting again, I didn't even pick this because of that. But I mean, I think that this book's going to explode at some point. This is, in my opinion, this is really her first cover appearance. I mean, there's yeah. that little Adam oh, thing on. on the bottom. <laughs> but then right after that is this one. And it's just, I mean, that is just some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff there. Um, so that's when her, I thought fire right away, that was choice. That's her third third appearance, right? And What's that? Thir that's her third appearance yeah. in a part mm -hmm. of three of a story that like crosses like four issues. So Correct. Yes. It, yeah, it does. I think actually it continues on even more than that. I think it goes into detective for an issue. Mm -hmm. It comes back to Justice League 87. There's the Flash 198 issue, uh, oh, which is a, there's a backup. That's her first solo story, that backup and Flash. Um, and then she gets uh, and then she's sort of all over the place. She's in like World's <laughs> Finest and she's in a couple of uh, additional issues of Justice League. Um, so she gets a smattering. Then she gets some background stories in Supergirl for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and then she finally gets a couple of her own books in the eighties or nine, I think it's the nineties is her oh, first series. That eighties yeah. series is disgusting. Those, those covers, <laughs> that outfit she has on. Yeah. Oh, the eighties one. Yeah. That's oh. a bad one. That's a bad one. But the nineties yeah. one's not bad. That mini series. Um, and then of course there's the next series the, with all the beautiful Adam Hughes covers in it. Mm. So for myself, I'm going with uh secret Avengers 37. This is a variant. Uh, it's just a, it's a, uh, it's only worth two bucks. So it's not an expensive variant by any stretch. But if you look in the back, you got the Phoenix fire coming out of the background. And you just have some of the great secret Avengers. This entire, the first secret Avengers run is just gorgeous. This is the final issue from it. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm assuming you guys have read some of those issues. I mean, it's, it's Remender oh. doing, doing a lot of them, but you have some lots of good, good little stories. Great artists do a lot of it too. You got Malib does some covers. Uh, Aha, or however you say his name, he does some covers. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's one of my favorite series. Secret Avengers is one of those Avengers series. I read that with the new Avengers, when he, the first new Avengers as well. I just think of that one uh, Agent Venom cover that was worth oh. something a while back. What, 23 or 20, yeah. somewhere in there, like the early 20s, 21, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a good. There's some really good covers in the, the night, 10 through 20 era. They're really good. Yeah. All right, what you got, Andy? Fire is interesting to me. I, I just I like the way that different people draw it, and I mean, seeing it, it it's just unreal. So, Star Wars is is a hot. Mm -hmm. book. Yeah. This one here, uh, it's not really a hot book, but I mean, it's I mean, the way the fire is drawn in this one is just off the chain. It's a common cold Giuseppe Common Coley, or however I'm sure I'm butchering that name uh, cover and. This is also the issue where they reveal Palpatine is Vader's dad. So, I mean, it's, it, it's, oh, a, it's, right. a, it's a nice issue, you know, nothing wrong with it. But uh, the fire on this one, I mean, it's just the detail on it is just unreal. The lava and all, I mean, it's, 
It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Real men walk away from explosions. That's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my first one. Let me uh, get myself pulled up here. All right, so my first one for fire. I went with uh, Damien is Batman. I went with oh, a yeah. six six six. Oh. I just I remembered it, it when fire came up as a possible topic. I'm like, this is one of the first things I thought of. I thought yep. of pulling the Superman book that goes with that the six 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 one or whatever. Yeah, uh, that's gorgeous. Yep. I love nice. that cover. That's awesome. That's a great oh. cover. And there isn't too much to go, like I said, to say about it. It's Damien, so I guess for maybe his first story as Batman in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, during Morrison's run, and it's just a great cover. So I went with that one for my first fire pick. Nice. Round two. Right. Round two, Mike. What two. you got? All right. I, I kept in the same sort of uh sort of vein years wise. I went with a Neil Adams cover, another favorite of mine. Uh, world's yeah. finest. I mean, there's really nothing about this book other than the amazing cover, yeah. the Tempter, uh, yeah. Hawkman yeah. cover is the only reason why I'd ever have a Hawkman and Superman book of any kind. But just a beautiful cover, Neil Adams. Um, this was from uh, '72. Nice, very not bad. bad. All right, I don't think I've ever seen that one either. That's that's yeah, that one's new to me. Whenever it pops up, it's always beat to hell too. For whatever yeah. reason, I don't know what it is about those world's finest, but the, that one's always in and Adam did like three or four of those, like right in that little era. There's some gorgeous ones. I have, I have a couple of the other ones that are just gorgeous. Yeah, they're they're all great. That's my favorite of them. And it's, mm. again, as soon as I thought fire, those were the first two that popped into my mind. That and the Zatanna were like instant. I have to do them. <laughs> I was I was so right. excited with fire uh, because of this cover here. Just so nice. Oh, cool. it's a, I mean. <laughs> He's freaking like riding a gyroscope unicycle or something on fire. In the cover. <laughs> this, is, awesome. this is Black Hawk 135, 1959. It's a Dick Dillon cover. I don't know. Never couldn't place it, but it's just a great looking cover. I mean, Black Hawk's one of those series, like, I have no interest in them, but then I see some really great covers, especially the early stuff. Like, if you get like 150 and below, there's some just great covers. Of course, you get Lady Black Hawk's a, a key that you want to get in that run, but. I love this cover. Just the, I mean, freaking, I mean, it has that Fahrenheit 451 sort of feel. Yeah. Right there, the wheel yeah. of fire and everything. So. Yep. That's awesome. Right there. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. I found it super cheap somewhere just by accident. You know, it's one of those, sometimes you're just throwing in boxes like, oh, well, that's a really cool cover. I'll buy that. So. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like General Grievous's uh, vehicle from uh, Attack of the Clone. <laughs> <laughs> The wheel bike. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. I, uh, all right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and bust this one on Mike. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't step on your thunder on this one, but no. uh, this is the, uh, the prison uh, Buffy Hellmouth uh, one in 25. And nice. like, man, it's just the way different people draw fire. And it's always, I mean, it's always something different. So some of them stand out and, some of them don't, and this is just kind of one of those ones that stand out. Um, it's, it's a nice cover. I mean, it's not worth crap, but <laughs> it's uh, it's 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 nice. It's fun to look at. You did not steal my thunder, although I I did almost pull it. I had it out and I put it back. And there's a reason why I put it back, and you'll find out next week. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. All right, so all right, I'm up to me. Click myself. All right, so since Andy mentioned the way different people draw fire, this one is more of a, a hint of fire, I guess you would say, in the way that it's laid out. But I always thought it was a, a full-on fire cover, and that's a Silver Surfer 3. Oh, like, yeah. you look, there's not a lot of fire fire going on. I mean, it you got feels like around it. there. But it feels and always felt like it was all fire. So yeah. I still yeah. went. Yeah, the way the color blends in on it. Yeah, I mean, it definitely it's, it's – yeah. Plus, it's Mephisto. Oh. You know where he is, like – and this is my this is my little three three zero is good enough for me. So I'm a yeah. low grade collector when it comes to that stuff. That's the one oh. that and number four are the last two I need in that Silver Surfer run. So awesome. I'll be <laughs> Mike's like fuck you. I have that too. No, I didn't choose it though. I didn't choose it. I, just, I forgot to put it behind me. I meant to put it there. And I totally oh, went off face then with my. Uh, and now my it's gonna sit there. <laughs> oh, that's right. I gotta let it sit here. <laughs> that's what I got this for. All right, Mike. Right. We got to round three. The big wind down. Or the big, okay. big one. All right. Ah, uh, I was wondering. 
<laughs> You're like, wait a minute, if you didn't choose Mephisto, what did you choose? Uh, so obviously when I was in that box, I pulled this out instead. So first Ghost Rider, Marvel Spotlight 5. I don't really think I need to talk very much about this book, but um, love this book. think yeah. there's tons of room in this book. I think this is one of those Bronze Age keys that's got lots of... Lots of potential. Um, if they ever do the, if they ever do a movie or a show, right? Um, I love, I love this cover. It's super similar to Ghost Rider number one. They're almost confusable. They're so yeah. similar. Um, I happen to like this one a little better, maybe, maybe because it's a more important book. I'm not really sure what it is in my brain that makes me like it more, but um, I know I just love it. Simple as that. And that's, I'm always amazed that the second's worth like ten bucks. Like no. Marvel Spotlight like Six is worth nothing. And yeah. then five is, I mean, becoming a big, huge key. But you're just going, how does a second appearance not even warrant like a little bit of a trickle over? I know. I mean, eventually. Yeah. Be patient. It's, well, the number one, the number one gets some decent money. Yeah. And that's what is eighth appearance or something like that. It goes through like 10 or 11 before it switches over. Yeah. Uh, of course, maybe it's the baby blue. It's like a weird square, but it's not the cool black behind him. It's like a baby blue color or something. That's true. That's, that's true. true. Yeah. So uh, the one I'm going with this week is one Mike helped me get. Uh, it's, I j- just got it the other day, finally. Uh, this is a Submariner 25 from the Golden Age. Uh, if you see in the, let's see if you can see the writing there. I gotta always figure it out. You see the g- red dress distress. There's the red dress distress. Red dress distress. That on fire, and the, the bad guy's name is Firebrand. So you get you get it all right there. Uh, you get you get the bondage. You get the fire. You get the red dress distress. <laughs> you get it all there with a submariner cover. Um, just gorgeous. I, I, Mike is sat in this store that Mike and I go to for a while, and we both were sitting there going, okay, I'm, are you going to buy it? Am I going to buy it? Who's going to buy it? And we just we finally finally, I, I finally <laughs> got to get the bullet. I sold enough Miles books to be able to afford that. So, <laughs> But, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sort of stoked to have a, gold, a Golden Age timely submariner cover. So. Yeah. When the when all that stuff came in, I got my hands on a cap, uh, number fifty four or something. But so I took that timely, and I'm like, ah, I can't do them both. I can only pick one, <laughs> so I picked the cap. But I honestly, overall, the the, the Submariner covers better. It's I mean, it's got everything. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Andy, I don't know about you, but I don't have a shop that's getting books like these in. <laughs> these guys get to go and, and check out. Like Whoa. it's the same old books that I eventually convinced myself to buy. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I had a spot like that around. Definitely don't. We we are lucky. It's true. We're very lucky. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so I uh, I went with a Tomb of Dracula on this next one. Tomb of Dracula twenty one. And it's a Romita John Romita cover. Um, I I mean, it's not not, nothing big happens in the book. I I think there's a blade appearance in the book, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, But yeah, I'm just a huge Tomb of Dracula fan, and this is one that stands out when you talk about fire. I mean, it's yeah, it's I mean, it's it's awesome. I don't know what else to say. I like Tomb of Dracula and I like fire, so this one this one fits the bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I couldn't go with the Marvel Spotlight Five because mine's off at CGC right now, so that was a uh, out of my hand. So nice, nice there. You've been looking. You should have been tipped off by my last pick because I'm wearing it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, you're missing the Marvel now, corner. Yeah, my cop, my corner copy is cut out for whatever reason. But I paid like nothing for this book, so yeah. th- this is my issue on issue forty until I get a better one. But again, oh. the fire in the background. Plus, like I said, I got the T-shirt. I had to put this in my three. That's a hard one to get a good grade too. Those are, yeah, they're always especially when cut out the corner boxes. <laughs> I mean, apart from that, there's a lot of chipping too across the top. Like mm-hmm. this, this copy is worn. But I again, I, I paid next to nothing for that thing, so it, it's good enough for my uh, my Spidey run. Yeah, I love that. That's a great. I know you're getting close. It was cursed to what'd you say? Thirteen? I think I saw you say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thirteen yeah, away. I'm, I'm thirteen yes. away. So <laughs> to have the have this full set. So. I would probably never cross to get those 13, but I'm getting a little bit closer. One a year, maybe, is what a I'm A lot gonna, closer than I am. <laughs> Peter, I am I am one away, one book away from X-Men run, one to, one to 300. One to 300. I need number three. Oh, number three. I'm trying to think if I've seen that somewhere. <laughs> no. I do see a lot of low numbers here and there. Not that I can afford, but I see them. Yeah. Just can't get one. You will eventually, and then you'll be done. So I, I almost don't want it to be over. 
I'll just and start, 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 start then the question is, you start selling them. Like as soon as you get them, okay, I've completed, like I completed spectacular. And then I got rid of all but the keys. Um, and so like, but I don't think I could do that with those. I don't think I could do that. I could do that. Amazing. I'm, I'm too obsessive compulsive. I still have my flash volume two run. Like who cares about those 80s? <laughs> got the whole I run. Mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe I could do like 143 onward or something like that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, through those first hundred through, through days of future past, mm. I don't think I could sell anything out of there. No. That'd be hard to do. Nope. You just got to ride with them. Yeah. Right at the end. All right, guys. Thank you once again for joining us for a show. Uh, Andy, thank you for being here for the show. Um, we do like want to thank uh, Comic Barricade. They're, as always, they're they're they. If you haven't seen them, we showed them off every once in a while. We'll show them off in a show. They just, just hard pieces of plastic that help make sure your uh, comics don't fall over in your box. Um, they're just a great, great little thing. Uh, and the cool thing is, it's 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 helped. It's designed by one of our own, so that's it makes yeah, it more exciting for us to sell them. Here we got guys showing them off right here. We we all have them. We all use them. Um, they're great for whole, making sure that your books don't fall in your boxes. Uh, all guys, their because there's a lot of fun posts showing off what the what they can do. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. And then I just want to say thank you guys for having me on here too. I, uh, oh, oh, absolutely, man. I'm sure. And I, we definitely want to have you back, and as many times as possible. Just great to talk books with you, um, especially just because you know, I would love to pick your brain on all the indie stuff and the, your connections and just what well, the things you know that are coming down the pipe would be awesome to hear about. Um, yep. Yeah, man. Anytime. So. Anytime. All right, guys. Catch you later. Mm -hmm. See you.